Gold, the timeless symbol of wealth and prestige, has captivated humanity for centuries. In this journey through the heart of gold manufacturing, we'll unravel the intricate process of transforming raw gold into the coveted 99% pure gold bars that hold immense value in our world today. From sourcing the raw material to the meticulous craftsmanship and quality assurance, join us as we explore the fascinating world of gold production. Our journey begins with the acquisition of raw gold Gold. gold is found in various forms, from gold ore extracted from mines to recycled gold sourced from discarded electronics and jewelry. Regardless of the source, raw gold often contains impurities such as other metals, minerals, and debris. To reach the desired purity level of 99%, the raw gold must undergo a refining process, which we will go over in this video. For electronic waste, items are dismantled to separate the components. Circuit boards, connectors, and other components containing gold are separated for further processing. Jewelry or gold-bearing scrap may undergo pre-processing steps such as sorting, cleaning, and removing non-gold materials like stones or alloys. When using gold ore, it is usually crushed and ground into a fine powder to make it work better in the extraction process. Gold is then taken out from this powdered ore or recycled materials using methods like cyanidation, where a mild cyanide solution is used to dissolve the gold. After gold is separated from the ore, it is sent to a refinery for further purification. The most common refining methods are the Miller process and the wool wheel process. The key step in the Miller process involves exposing the gold material to chlorine gas in the presence of moisture. Chlorine gas reacts with impurities and base metals present in the gold, forming chlorides. These impurities are then removed as volatile gases or solid residues. The gold powder is separated from the solution through filtration. The solid gold powder is collected, while the remaining solution may contain residual impurities. The the wool wheel process, also known as the electrolytic process, is another widely used method for refining gold to a very high level of purity, typically 99.99% pure or higher. It is often used to further purify gold that has already undergone the Miller process or other initial refining methods. A gold sample, typically in the form of gold chloride, is dissolved in an electrolyte solution. This solution is then subjected to electrolysis in an electrolytic cell. When an electric current is passed through the cell, gold ions migrate towards the cathode, where they gain electrons and are reduced to form solid gold. Meanwhile, impurities and base metals remain in the solution or are deposited at the anode as sludge or slurry. The gold that forms at the cathode during the electrolysis process is carefully collected. It typically forms as a fine, pure gold deposit. Pure gold in its natural state possesses remarkable qualities such as softness and malleability, which make it highly pliable and easy to shape. However, these inherent characteristics also render pure gold unsuitable for many practical applications. For instance, if pure gold were used to create jewelry or coins, they would be prone to damage, bending, or scratching in everyday use due to their softness. To overcome this limitation and ensure that gold products can withstand the rigors of daily life, the pure gold is alloyed with other metals. Alloying involves mixing gold with one or more additional metals to create a new material that combines the desirable properties of both the gold and the chosen alloying metals. The specific alloys used depend on the intended application of the gold product. For example, when crafting jewelry, gold is often alloyed with metals like copper or silver. These alloys enhance the durability and strength of the gold, making the resulting jewelry more resistant to wear and tear. In contrast, gold coins may require different alloys to withstand circulation and handling. The selection of alloys is carefully tailored to meet the unique requirements of each application, whether it's crafting fine jewelry, producing coins, or creating industrial components. By alloying gold, manufacturers can ensure that the resulting products not only retain their beauty, but also possess the necessary strength and durability for their intended use. Once the desired gold alloy is achieved, it's time to shape and form it into the desired product. When crafting jewelry from gold, intricate and detailed processes are involved. This begins with the creation of a design, either by hand or with the help of computer-aided design software. Once the design is finalized, it's translated into a physical model, often made of wax or resin. This model serves as the basis for creating a mold. 
The gold alloy is then melted and the molten gold is carefully poured into the mold. After cooling and solidifying, the piece is carefully removed from the mold and undergoes additional refining and finishing processes. These can include polishing, gemstone setting, engraving, and any other detail specific to the design. The result is a beautifully crafted piece of gold jewelry, reflecting the skill and artistry of the craftsmen involved. In contrast, the production of gold bars typically follows a more standardized process. Gold bars are often cast into standard shapes and sizes, such as rectangular bars or ingots. This standardization ensures consistency and facilitates handling, storage, and trading of gold. The process begins with the molten gold alloy being poured into molds specifically designed for the desired bar size and shape. These molds are typically made of heat-resistant materials like graphite or ceramic. As the gold cools and solidifies within the mold, it takes on the shape of the bar. Once the bars are removed from the molds, they may undergo additional quality control checks to ensure they meet purity and weight specifications. Afterward, they are typically stamped with essential information, such as the purity level, weight, and the hallmark of the producing mint. To achieve the lustrous shine we associate with gold, the products undergo polishing and finishing. Polishing is a crucial step in enhancing the appearance of gold products, especially in the case of jewelry. This process involves using abrasive materials and specialized tools to remove any surface imperfections, scratches, or dullness from the gold. In addition to hand polishing, some gold products, particularly small components or intricate pieces, may undergo mass finishing processes like tumbling or vibratory finishing. These methods involve placing the items in a rotating drum or a vibrating container with polishing media such as small ceramic beads or abrasive compounds. As the pieces tumble or vibrate, they rub against the media, resulting in a smoother and more polished surface. With the gold products meticulously crafted and quality checked, they are ready for packaging and distribution. Specialized packaging is employed to protect the gold's purity and prevent any damage during transportation. Gold is then distributed to various markets, including financial institutions, jewelry stores, and industrial manufacturers. Gold's status as a precious and valuable metal demands meticulous packaging. The packaging is designed not only to protect the gold's purity, but also to prevent any physical damage, tarnishing, or scratching during transportation and storage. Different types of packaging are used depending on the type of gold product. Gold bars, which are often rectangular or brick-shaped, are typically sealed in protective plastic or tamper-evident packaging. They may also be enclosed in secure tamper-proof cases or boxes with serial numbers and authenticity certificates to verify their origin and quality. Gold jewelry is usually placed in elegant jewelry boxes or pouches, which are designed to showcase the piece and keep it safe from external elements. High-end jewelry may include a velvet-lined box, while smaller items might come in sleek presentations cases. Gold coins, popular among collectors and investors, are individually encapsulated in plastic holders or protective capsules. These capsules help preserve the coin's condition and prevent it from getting scratched or tarnished. The packaging and distribution of gold products involve a blend of security measures, certification, and customer-focused retail experiences. These processes ensure that gold, a symbol of wealth and elegance, reaches its intended markets in pristine condition and retains its intrinsic value. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of gold manufacturing. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating insights into the world of manufacturing. Until next time, keep discovering the extraordinary processes that shape our world.